At just 12 years old, Han resided in Fukuoka, Japan. Her life story, however, had transcended into a widely recognized narrative, with a film adaptation capturing its essence. Han's journey encapsulates a tapestry of family, love, and sorrow, beginning with her birth in 2003. Hana's parents, Shingo and Chi, had traversed uncertain terrain prior to her birth. Chi's battle with breast cancer in 2001 cast doubts on the prospect of parenthood. Therefore, the news of Chi's successful conception brought immense joy. In February 2003, Hana's arrival solidified Shingo and Chi's family unit. Hana's birth was a beacon of hope amidst adversity. However, fate delivered a cruel blow as the family encountered distressing news shortly after. When Hana was a mere nine months old, doctors conveyed devastating information to Chi. A resurgence of cancer manifested in a tumor within Chi's lungs, measuring over half an inch. This unwelcome diagnosis altered the course of their lives irreversibly, particularly poignant given Hana's tender age. In 2006, Chi continued her arduous battle against the disease. Feeling the need for a creative outlet, she embarked on a journey, using it as a platform to reflect on life's intricacies through Chi eloquently expressed her gratitude for the precious gift of family. In a touching entry dedicated to young Hana, she wrote, Meeting my daughter is indeed a miracle in my life. I treasure her with all my life, more than I love myself. Despite her optimism, Chi confronted the harsh reality of her illness head-on. Addressing the uncertainty of her future, she wrote, Whether I have cancer or not, I'm supposed to die first. It can't be the other way around. This is why I have to die without any regrets. Fearing the inevitable, she devised a thoughtful plan to ensure Hannah's future resilience. She aimed to equip her daughter with the skills to navigate life independently. She shared her aspirations for Hannah's self-sufficiency, stating, I just want to help Hannah so that one day, when she becomes independent, she can take care of herself. Despite Chi's unwavering determination, the cancer persisted, ultimately claiming her life in July 2008 at the tender age of 33. Her legacy lives on through her profound love for Hannah and her unwavering dedication to preparing her for life's challenges. Following Chi's passing, Hannah has admirably stepped into her late mother's shoes. Chi's foresight in imparting crucial life skills to her daughter has empowered Hannah to manage household duties from a tender age. Even before starting school, Hannah adeptly handled chores such as cleaning, laundry, and cooking, all thanks to her mother's guidance. Chi emphasized the significance of culinary proficiency in her daughter's life stating in her, Hannah Chan, knowing how to cook is important in your life. I will teach you how to handle knives and do household chores. Your education is not complete without knowing these survival skills. As long as you're healthy and independent, you can survive anywhere. To underscore the importance of cooking, Chi presented Hannah with an apron on her fourth birthday, initiating her into the art of food preparation and knife handling. Among the dishes she learned, one holds a special place in Hannah's heart. This particular dish requires Hannah to rise at 6 o'clock a.m. daily, a routine she dutifully follows. Remarkably, she mastered this meal at the age of five, which involves the challenging task of shaving dried bonito, a testament to her culinary prowess and determination. The dried bonito flakes are a key ingredient in the soup stock, which combined with other elements forms the foundation of miso soup. However, Hannah's recipe isn't just any ordinary one, it's her mother's recipe, and preparing it allows Hana to feel a deep connection to Chi. Hana has expressed, When I am cooking miso soup, I feel happy as if my mother was standing beside me. Once the miso soup is ready, Hana sprinkles leek on top, just as her mother did. Hearing her father praise the meal fills her with joy and satisfaction. Beyond its taste, Hana believes the soup contributes to her overall well-being, as she rarely falls ill, attributing her good health to consuming the special soup daily. Hana's miso-making routine became the subject of an essay she wrote titled Promise to My Mother, which has since been adapted into a textbook for elementary school children. In her essay, Hana expresses gratitude to her mother for giving birth to her and emphasizes her commitment to self-preservation, a pact made between mother and daughter. Hana's inspiring story has been immortalized in a film released in 2016 titled Hanachin no Miso Shiru or Hana's Miso Soup, serving as a poignant tribute to her life. Chi's entries have also been compiled into a popular book titled Hanachan no Miso Shiru, Eight Life Lessons from Yashitake Family, ensuring that Chi's words and teachings continue to resonate and inspire others.